Imagine a world where Steve's walls, minecart, and anvil just didn't exist. Well, I can't help you there, but I can give you a solid way to negate them as much as possible in order to give yourself the best chance to beat Steve. What I need you to do is lock in and take some notes, because we're playing the long game. If you have any specific interactions or moves you want to understand better, let me know in the comments so we can discuss it in a later video. Our overall plan is resource management. No iron means weaker burst and landing options, and no blocks means Steve drops drastically down the tier list. First we'll break down dealing with minecart, as it's the first thing we'll deal with by following this game plan. Minecart has 8.4 HP, and Steve himself has 60 units of knockback armor. Damage and knockback in minecart are dependent on speed. The power rail takes one redstone and one gold, and the minecart takes one iron. Steve can jump out and activate a grab hitbox, which is active on frame 6. Due to the fact that it can be a hitbox or a grab box, and allow Steve to act out of it quickly, can be difficult to react to and position properly. If you're in the position where minecart hits your shield, the best thing to do is roll in. If you stay in shield, jump, or pretty much anything else, you'll get grabbed. It is also important to know that Steve will often jump out and try landing with an aerial, so simply disengage because now he has one less iron. And if the power rail was used, then less gold and redstone as well. High minecarts are generally the ones to punish if you have good disjointed hitboxes and if you are positioned near its startup. Most of the time, it's best to avoid getting hit while staying in neutral or advantage state due to the minecart taking iron. If you can do this, then you've already made Steve a worse character. It's important to know that if you're in an awkward spot, then you should just disengage rather than try winning the interaction unless your character has consistent ways to deal with it. The same concept applies to Anvil. This move spawns in and creates an insanely strong hitbox if Steve's on it. When juggling him, it's best to juggle positioned on either side of where Anvil could be. However, you can clank with it and hit Steve if you're precise enough or have an active or big enough hitbox to do so. Generally though, due to Steve being able to jump off Anvil, he can place block to stall his fall or even throw out another aerial to apply more pressure. Only one anvil can be out at a time, and it has about 2 seconds before it disappears. If you can avoid this move and maintain advantage or reset neutral, then you played it right. It might be hard to accept that Steve can just get away with minecart and anvil over and over again, then just restock materials and do it all over again, but this is where the strength of this strategy comes into play. When Steve runs out of iron, he becomes a significantly worse character. Your goal now is to pressure his mining. Watch out for the fake mine dash attack or any other mix-ups that they have, and when he builds the wall, then you pressure. What we want to do is play right outside of his burst range when he has iron to bait the minecart, and when he doesn't have iron, pressure outside his dash attack burst range. If he goes to mine, then you need to pressure it, whether there are blocks or not. In order to do this efficiently, it's important to know your character's quickest and least committal way to destroy blocks. Once he's in the corner and he runs out of space to mine, then he will be forced to use what little iron he has left with a cart and an anvil. Throughout this, it's essential that you avoid these at all costs, because once he gets stage control, he gets all of his resources back. Up to this point, we've done nothing but avoid his tools, and now that he has nothing left, he'll be forced to either mine without walls, or trying to fight you with no iron and no blocks. Now that he has no iron, it's important to know the space that he can't build blocks. Steve's a very floaty character and has terrible landing options without iron. Frame trapping him becomes very strong, and once he goes to ledge, then his mix-ups are also limited with no minecart. Generally cover his jump and roll at the ledge to keep him in disadvantage and from mining. The best thing about this method is that due to Steve having a few strong options that beat everything, Steve players often lack options to fight head-on without these tools.